Why being a people pleaser is bad for you? Being concerned about others and always ready to help others are two of the in a friend, but not great for your health. Do you think that's why Obama got a sore throat? He was people pleasing? Lars and Claire, Jeremiah Wright, Reggie Love? Five ways to know you're speaking to supremacists. As a representative, Steve Scalise discovered it's not always easy to tell when you're at a convention of white extremists. Scheduling mistake? If you wind up giving interviews to personnel of CNN or MSNBC, it is a scheduling mistake, and you most definitely will be speaking to white extremists. Two more things I want to talk about right now. One is Harry Reid was hospitalized due to exercising. Practicing marching for a protest against an officer killing yet another black criminal doesn't really count as exercise. Two, Yahoo News talked about what it's like to be a kid on welfare. Well, considering the left wants us to believe 21-year-olds can be classified as kids since they were part of the wave coming here, but the 10-year-old boy was charged as an adult for committing a crime, we can't really put a solid definition of what a kid is. But I can tell you the government does pay $700 per kid. If you have three kids, that's bam, that's $2,100. Along with EBT cards for more assistance to buy groceries for said kids, you don't even have to spend any of that $2,100. So really, what it's like to be a kid on welfare is like being a kid in a candy store. Remember what Hillary Clinton said about businesses? They don't create jobs. Where do you get your cigarettes from? I used to get mine from Tadishi's, which is a private business, and the cigarettes are taxed by that business and are sold by the cashier. But what I don't understand is that, is that if businesses don't create jobs, then why was there a ground of soft for selling non-taxed cigarettes? In the first place, so if anybody owes anybody an apology, it is Hillary Clinton. So in case you haven't heard, Scrooge is set to take trial. If I were his lawyer, and I am available for that gig, I would start out with, they say every one out of ten Muslims is a potential terrorist. Well, I can assure you, one out of every fourteen, say by the cast members, is a uh, potential, not terrorist, but threat to their career. Happened to Lindsay Lohan, Amanda Bynes, Macaulay Culkin. Some actors have this threat to do something out of control, so we shouldn't really blame him. And besides, the role of Scrooge was humiliating, to say the least. He would publicly get shoved into lockers, get rejected by girls, and pretend like it was fine. We're not just talking about all the actors witnessing it, we're talking about millions of people witnessing it on TV as well. But we see this all the time, where bullied victims come back to shoot up a school or kill themselves because something ticked within them, and since all this was built up for all this time, you can't blame them. It could have also been escalated misunderstanding, leading to the tragic loss of one's life. Rest in peace. I don't understand why people say Happy New Year. Especially this year, because 2015 is not a happy year. Because Barack Obama is still the gay man with the gay plan, who wants to spread the radical gay agenda, annihilate the straight, encourage the man to masturbate, or convincing women to abort babies, making their future sons and daughters late. While promoting Islam, Muhammad the Prophet, and defending Islam, so murder Americans, take their heads in, off it. Meanwhile, shit about killing Jesus, I mean, meanwhile, shit about Jesus killing women and children, you bet the left will talk it. Obama uses a toy goat as a pussy pocket. They tell us we can't have everybody running around with guns, but we'll literally help the Mexicans cock it. John Boehner doesn't like being called spineless. The House Speaker vows to prove his mettle to lawmakers on Capitol Hill who oppose his re-election. What hurts him the most? I said this before. Boehner backed Obama's amnesty plan. 
So I might want to say when fear of racism supersedes doing what's good for the country just for the sake of not having a bad image, that's when you get a bad image. I'll get you a wheelchair, Boehner, you spineless coward. You have to cut European military bases to save money. The Pentagon unveils sweeping plans to consolidate its forces in Europe and save about $500 million yearly. Thousands to be moved. And stunned comedians react to a past tragedy. Late night comics switched gears to honor the Charlie Hedbow staffers killed Wednesday. There is no sense to be made of this. When you cut military bases, and to top that off, we have Bill Maher, who literally calls countries stupid for not allowing illegals anywhere they please, and he has the gall to have a reaction after the bombing in France, which was the cause of illegal Muslims coming in France as they please. It's your fault, Bill. And one more thing. Where do you think these thousands of troops are going to be moved? right off the military bases and right onto, by force, some of the social programs they should get rid of in order to save money more efficiently. A couple more things I want to get off my chest. The Duggard family is receiving online criticism for giving their 16 year old son a gun. This is just disgusting. I want to point out that Russia is or was preparing for a war against Ukraine and they they were literally kids who looked about 12 years old with guns. If you look on Google, you can find literally hundreds of not even 10-year-old kids with guns. I don't hear anything. Another thing I want to talk about is sledding is banned because of crashes. I, uh, so apparently, because you can get hurt, we have to ban this. What about soccer for the terrorists in Gitmo prison? You can get injured playing soccer. I know this because in South Row, I got hit in the nuts twice. Why isn't soccer banned? Another case of leftist hypocrisy. I feel like you people should know this already. 